my name is Miki Asterfell and welcome to The Long Dark. It's been a while since I played the game. And this was actually a previous series on my channel before as a pre-recorded one. So this... Oh my god, I can't believe you actually kept track of that chaos. Yes, it has been one year, one month, <laughs> and 29 days. Wow, I almost let this game go for about one year, two months. Oh man. I didn't mean for the series to go that to go that far. Like I didn't mean to. I <laughs> It's just that uh when I stopped the series, when I took a break from the series, I was already streaming. I was trying to get my hands on what it feels like to stream. Because somebody told me before to just start streaming. You know, if if I really wanted to stream, I start streaming. Here I am. Here's the development now. And for those who haven't catched up with the game, it is basically the main character um, got divorced a long time ago, but his ex-wife came in in his office and asked, Hey, I have a favor. Can you try? Can you fly me up? in the provinces of canada and here we go and he was like oh my god why do you want to go to canada and she was like well i have something i have i have a mission there and so without further ado they went to canada together and then the plane ended up crashing and he's trying to find his ex-wife and what exactly his mission is in the provinces of canada the last mission was we're supposed to find a spear that will hunt down the bear that's after us. Oh no, I'm I'm no longer in the main title screen. Hold on. Let me just show you. Let me just show you the title screen just so you know what kind of vibe we're getting into. Now if only, you know, OBS shows the game. Thank you, OBS. Thank you, OBS. Thank you for showing the game. So here we are. This is the bear. It's not the sea bear. It's an ocean bear. <laughs> no, no, so, wait, what? It's not a bear. It's a winter bear. It's a winter bear, not an ocean bear. The sea bear, ocean bear, that, that's the same thing. But this is the vibe. This is what we're dealing with. This is a very... <laughs> Stop stopping my heartbeat ASMR to watch Cosmic Goyle. <laughs> what did I walk into? Well, we're going to be hunting sea bears. Not sea bears. Winter bears. Why do I keep saying sea bears? There's something so catchy about saying sea bear. It's 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 it's, it's just a thing. Hello there, Myra. Thank you for tuning in today's stream. YouTube, Pixie Pip, and as well as Chaos. Ocean bear protection trapezoid. Trapezoid. Actually, yeah. I think I think it's a must. We we do have chalk. Yeah, we wrap uh we do have chalk here in our inventory where's the chalk it's been a while since i actually play the game so please forgive me if i don't see things right away that's the purpose of you chat you point things out to me okay there's no spray paint we don't have any spray paint we don't have any chalk so never mind so here's the goal chat here's our goal so the current mission is to find the legendary spear from the hunting lodge which is this one we're right here inside the trapper's homestead and we're gonna be traveling all across the the provinces of canada just to get through the mission so one two and three that's almost like three maps that we have to get to it's insane but hold on i don't think i need to drop anything at the moment oh no my items are way too full but we could drop a few things we could drop paper that's bound to be very uh we could drop a few matchsticks but we will come back we'll come back as if the matchsticks will help at any point whatever we're gonna drop the metal we don't need the metal right now uh we do need food though what else? Uh huh. Yeah. We could drop this. There's no need for that. And this. We could drop that for now. Oh, we're still full. 
We're still full chat. This is actually quite troublesome. This is quite a dilemma. A very huge dilemma. Well, we could drop this. I'm sure we have enough food to last us. I think. We're gonna drop these things. They are expired anyway. Well, close to expiration anyway. Um, We're gonna drop this. We'll come back for it. Don't worry, chat. We're gonna be coming back for those things. I promise. And... Actually, now that I realize it, it's been a while since I played an actual survival game. This is interesting, chat. Don't you think so? It's been a while, truly. It's been a while since I played a survival game that I can actually show off to you guys. Since this is one of the survival games that are very interesting because it takes place in a winter setting. Almost like a forever winter setting. Nobody knows what exactly is going on. There's been a lot of supernatural things that's been happening. And we're trying to find out, you know. <clears throat> Alright! Oh no, that's actually scary. It's already half a day. That's... It's already half a day. Oh no, it's too foggy. No, no, no. This is bad. No, I'm sorry. We're gonna have to go back. It's too foggy. I can't handle the, top, the fogginess here. I, I cannot. You won't be able to see a thing. So we're just gonna do... No, that's not what I meant to do. Take it, please. So we're gonna sleep it off. <laughs> we're gonna have to sleep it off a little bit. I'm sorry. Um, we're gonna have to pass the time. Seven hours, maybe that would do well. The real horror, Canada. I know it's very, it's very. <laughs> I don't know why. Canada doesn't seem scary, but apparently it is. Finally, truth advertising. Ah. Uh, we can do this, I think. We have enough food to like feed us for a while, so let's let's just get on with it. So no 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 seven hours of sleep. Let's go. Oh god, I'm gonna die, isn't it? I'm gonna D-word. No. 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 Okay, I did not die. But I am thirsty. I am a thirsty bit. I am quite thirsty. Gonna drink. No, wait. Okay. Great. Didn't mean to eat. The Mounties. Yeah, we're gonna be in the Mounties. Every oh, wait. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, thank God. I didn't mean for that to happen. Like, drink everything. Hello, mister. I didn't ask you to drink everything. All right. Oh, wait. It's still a little bit early, though. It's still nighttime? Are you kidding me? No. No! Oh, this looks interesting. Evening. Good evening, Bishop. Thank you for tuning in today's stream. I appreciate it. This is a winter survival. This is a winter survival game, everybody. I did a little bit of summary earlier in the beginning of the stream. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. What do you mean? It's no longer heavy. Shut up! <laughs> Why? It's not heavy. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Really. What are you carrying? Like, nothing is gonna. No, no, no. Not the painkillers. We do need that. Okay, fine. We're dropping more matchsticks. Drop all. See, it doesn't even help. It doesn't even help. I'm dropping this one. Drop all. See, it doesn't even help, Mackenzie. It doesn't even help. Look. You're gonna run out of matchsticks soon. Well, anyway. Maybe a little bit more. Drop. Okay, one more. Drop. No, really? Are you kidding me? Drop. One more. Well, okay. We're not that... I'm not carrying any water that needs perfect... What do you mean? What do you mean? What? What do you mean? What do you mean I'm not carrying anything that's that needs purification? Hold on. Hold on a minute. What? What water? I'm not that oh okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Whatever whatever floats your boat. Hold on. Wait. 
Where's my water? Where is my water? I need my water. Use, please. There we go. There we go. Oh, right. I forgot. Oh, crap. Never mind. I can't. <laughs> I hope you'll only be traveling for a few nights. Good luck. Bear grill strat. I can't. <laughs> we, we're, we're not supposed to be. We can do this chat, you know? It's, it's just a bear, all right? It's just a bear. What can a bear do to hurt us? You know, we gotta remember our... What was that? What was it? If the black bear run, if it's a brown bear... If it's a brown bear, what do I do again? Drop dead? Alright. We're fine. We're just gonna have to get through this. I'll let you guys admire the view. I mean, there's nothing much to look at right now because it is early in the morning and it's very foggy. If it's brown, leave that. If it's black, fight back. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, though. That's not how it works. If it's white, say your prayers to whoever God you believe in. Oh, yeah. Polar bears are very, very freaking scary. Nobody understands. Like, I never encountered a polar bear in my life. And I hope I never do. But. Hold on, where are we? Okay, we're getting close. All right. Hopefully, I never encounter any polar bears in my life. Please. But you know. You know, it's the long dark. You may never know. Hello there, Key. Thank you for tuning in today's stream. I appreciate it. I remember when I remember a bear stole my pantu. Dark times. Aw, Keith, don't worry. You won't be able to get it back anyway. Okay. Where exactly are we? I know we're supposed to be like. Okay, why am I in a mountain? Hold on, this is not the plan. I'm not supposed to be in a mountain. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Anywhere but here. There's something over there and I don't want to check it out, so... Let's just quietly... Seek past it. Me thinks. <clears throat> you sure that's a bear and not the big guy? Yes, it's a bear. I think so. It's a bear. The spirit of Leonardo DiCaprio is on your side. Assuming you're below 25. Oh no. Oh... What is what is Luno gonna do to me? What does he contribute? Wait, that's not Okay, we could go this way. I think. Yeah, we could go this way. We could tread up here and then we go down. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a bear. Definitely a bear. Not a big guy. If it was a big guy. Mountains in Canada? Of course there's mountains in Canada. Come on, guys. Actually, we might not be even stepping on a on a mountain. Okay, what? Okay. We're maybe we're not even stepping on a mountain. It's probably just piles of ice. Piles of snow, you know. Leonardo DiCaprio was in a movie where he fought the bear. Oh no. Did he? I mean, got props to him, but did he survive though? Did he survive? If it was a big guy, it'd be... Wow. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a bara. <laughs> Let's see. Where I'm is kind of thirsty. Ah, hold it up, Mackenzie. You just drank. Okay, buddy. Do you think you have time to drink right now? Do you see where you're at? You're alone in the woods, guy. You're alone in the woods. And I am the one guiding you to get through these woods. And apparently, we're already lost. Well, we're not lost. We have a map. But you know, if a wolf comes running after us, well, what are we gonna do now, Mackenzie? What are we gonna do? Man, that's some spicy gun you got. You got... <laughs> you planning on burning the bear? Well, I can try. Oh, no, there it is. There's a wolf right over there, chat. There's a wolf. Any more wolves? There's a wolf. 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 Oh my god, is it running? Oh no. Oh no, no not 
the tunnel. Why did it go inside the tunnel? No. There's two of them. Holy crap. We're just gonna have to gun for it, chat. We're gonna have to gun for it. Gun, good, good. Please, let me in. Let me in the rail tunnel ways and let me leave this mysterious lake. <laughs> Damn, he got a nice smooch voice. I know. That's why I love him so much. She got the score shot for the mini crits. Listen, guys. Do you want me to carry this bad boy around all the time? It's gonna... It's... It's gonna break my legs, okay? It's gonna break my legs. Sometimes, I prefer to like... You know, sometimes I just like to, you know, carry a small gun. Sometimes a small gun is way effective than a big one. You know, remember Magnums? If the old hunter's gun is AK-47 instead of a... Then that jams a lot. You wouldn't need to look for the... Yeah. No, the thing is, the thing about this bear chat, this bear is, it's not like other bears. This bear is mysterious, it's magical, it's sentient, it's omnipotent. It's very different, you know? It's all-knowing. You just may never know what's up with it. I think all we need to do is to follow the railways, but that isn't fun, is it? Yeah. We're just gonna have to follow the railways. You got Lee Enfield. It's good, Miki. Is this man wearing fingerless gloves? I don't think he's even wearing any gloves. Wait, is he wearing gloves? I don't think... Anyways! <laughs> if it's an AK-47, I'll mess up with... The meat and skin, man. I'm not like any other bears. Ooh, ooh, bear. Definitely. You see, this bear follows you around. It acts like a little stalker. So we might have to look around from time to time. Because sometimes, you just may never know. Uh, you just may never know what's up with the bear. Was that a bear or a motorcycle? You may never know. You don't want to eat your bear and have an aftertaste that'll taste like metal. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true, chat. You don't want to. You don't want the bear to taste like metal. Hold on, we might have to look out for wolves here. I know this is a wolf. This is a very wolf area. I have awakened, and I demand catnips. All right, chat. Please give Mr. Cat some catnips. Please welcome. Good evening, by the way. Good evening as well. Good evening, good evening. But do you guys really want to eat bears? I don't think that's very appetizing, in my opinion. Like... I don't know, fam. Do, do you really want to eat bears? I would understand if you guys want to eat sharks. At least sharks are very tasty. Now, great. The OST begins playing every single time. Every single time that I talk about my opinions, a sad music plays in the background. It always happens every single time in my long dark videos. Every time I speak about my opinions, game is like, oh no, you don't get to speak opinions. We don't take opinions here. Especially not from you, Miki. I think I can use this. Leave it. Maybe we could take this. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, guess we can put on layers and layers. Layers, please. Where? Okay, there we go. Now we can drop the other one. Drop some gear. Yes. We're gonna drop some gear like this one. We're dropping that and what else? What else? What else? What else did I take? Oh, yeah. We did have ammunition from earlier. Let's take a look at this one. What are we doing in this cold freaking place? We are celebrating Christmas, even though it's not Christmas yet. New tomato soup. Leave it. Okay, we... Oh, cool! We're well fed. Binging with Babisha has a bear's too vid. Never had one, but I had a friend in Europe who said it's gamey as heck. Yeah, it's the meat of all meats. Understandable, it's definitely meaty. You can't blame them. It's definitely meaty. 
I have two. Look at that. You know, if you see like birds circling like that, flying around in circles, it usually means there's something expired. It usually means that there's something dead up ahead. And you know what? You look at that. A wolf. A wolf. A wolf. We have a wolf in the horizon. Which is something I do not appreciate. I don't appreciate it at all, chat. I don't. You know, we, we might have to be careful in these parts because there's ice here. Breaking ice. Like, we have to be very sneaky. Okay. Gotta be careful here. Gotta be very quiet. Gotta be nimble. Gotta be... Gotta be nimble. We gotta be careful because these eyes, these cracking eyes, they're gonna fall us under. We're gonna fall under it. Project Winter single player. Yeah, it's like Project Winter. Yeah, it's like Project Winter single... Um, But it's like, you know, a better experience because it's uh, single player. And I love single player games. I, I don't have to be reminded that I don't have people to play with sometimes. If you eat wild animals that isn't raised in a farm... You'll have a strange aftertaste, and this meat will be very hard to buy. Uh oh. Okay. Mom. Okay, that was that was so close. That one was a very fragile ice. That was very thin ice. I didn't want to fall under that. Also, Chad, how do you guys like the new layout? Do you guys like the new layout? Like I improved something. I improved the chat design. Well, no. I, I improve how it looks because last time it was very like messy. It felt like I just slapped you guys on my stream layout and called it a day. So this one, I had to get a little bit of help. Mickey nimble, Mickey quick, Mickey run over ice, not thick. <laughs> Hold on. Where did the rails go? Oh crap. I can't see anything from afar sometimes. Okay, okay, we gotta be quick. There's a wolf over there. And it, we're not really that close from them. So we just gotta go. We just gotta have to run. Just gonna have to run here. But we also have to be careful because we don't want to sprain our ankle. Because if we, sp if we sprain our ankle, we're doomed. We're doomed. We can't run if we sprain our ankle. Really cute. Would invite to would totally invite the bear to watch the stream. Oh. Gotta say, it looks really good. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you for saying it's cute. Uh, lucky catnips though. Aw, oh, Mr. Cat. I don't have any catnips right now in the stream layout. But what if we like being slapped? <laughs> no! <laughs> Chat! <laughs> Pixie, that is very, very sus of you. You like to be slapped? Any catnip in your inventory, Miki? Guys, the thing about this game is that... It's our thing. Mr. Cat is the only survivor. So congrats, Mr. Cat. What do you say? How, how does it feel to be the last cat bender? Do you feel cool? Do you feel fulfilled? Do you feel like... You could take on the world alone. You choose to stream this game in winter, which is a very smart decision. Because the cold makes us feel like we're in it. Oh, definitely. I hope you guys are enjoying the cold because it's also cold here as well. I mean, it's definitely not snowing, but the wind, the windy breeze is going to make me shiver. I'm surprised the wolf didn't attack you. They're very territorial, like wild boars in my country. Well, the thing is, as long as you don't, you know, as long as you don't step on their toes, they'll be fine. It'll be fine. It wouldn't be that bad. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting pretty close. It wouldn't be that bad, chat. First off, I feel hungry. <laughs> You're the last cat bender and you feel hungry. Ah, last airbender. Best show. Best show for me. I can hear your 
stomach growling, Mr. Cat. Imagine having snow. Tropic gang. Where are we headed? We are heading to a place where you can get food, Mr. Cat. At least I guarantee you will get food. As long as you trust me. Okay, we're getting food right up here in this little... We're getting food up there. Yeah. Tropic gang. Tropic gang, rise up in the chat. Please don't step on bear toes. Bite on bear claws instead. Isn't bear claws supposed to be hard? I don't know, chat. It feels like very sharp. Definitely gonna make you... <laughs> gonna de de Definitely gonna make you sick. Why would you want to eat bear claws? That doesn't seem very appetizing. It's not even soft. It's not even meat. It's just... Nails. I'll bargain my lucky feather for a salmon. Oh, the thing is, there is fishing here in the long dark, but... I don't think we have the luxury to, like, fish right now, Mr. Cat. We do. We do have a bear hunting. We do have a bear hunting us, and I don't think it's a good idea for me to fish. Especially when bears also like fish. Bear claws are a type of pastry. Is it? Is it a pastry? I never heard that kind of pastry. It's pure calcium. Oh, boy. Is it? Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't it break our teeth, though? I'm pretty sure it will break your teeth at some point. Is there anything up ahead? Oh, no, we have to go this way. Oh, no. We, no, wait. We don't have to go anywhere else, I think. Oh, no. We're, we are blocked off. No, we really have to go down here, huh? Back to the wolves, then. You should, uh, you guys should honestly give this game a try for yourselves. Because I know it looks very... I know it looks very threatening, but it is very fun. It's not stressful. It's just very threatening. You know, sometimes threatening things doesn't have to be scare. uh, doesn't have to be stressful. Sometimes threatening things just happen to be very, 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 where's the exit? Oh no, I have to go through. No, no, are you kidding? No, no, oh, you have to be kidding me. Well, sometimes scary things have to be dealt with. It's sometimes when it comes to scary things, you have to move fast or else they will come and get you. And you know, we're doing this thing where I where I call it running away because that is what solves most of my problems. <laughs> Better pull out your gun now. Don't worry, it didn't get us. Not yet. It didn't get us. Don't worry, we chat. We're fine. We're definitely fine. I do have my gun. This mini gun. Yes, it is very peaceful. Nothing much of a hassle until you're dying in this freezing temperature with wolves chasing you behind your back. Excuse me, moi. Why? Hello? Why? Wh Wait, why is it dead end? Excuse me? Excuse me? Why is it dead end? Hello? Uh, excuse me? Sir? Hello? Okay, there's a tree over here. Can we get... No. No, you gotta be kidding me. It's a dead end. It's a dead end, baby. Uh, it's a dead end. Nani? Nani kore? What? Wow, it's beginning to look a lot. Hold on. We're, we're just gonna climb up here, you know? Just cross the little bridge here. The bridge, aka the, the tree. Mini gun, small gun. Mini guns are large. Can you scare them off with your flare gun? Yeah, we can. I can scare them off with my flare gun. But we're not gonna do that. We don't wanna waste our bullets, okay? Because uh, there's nothing threatening right now. There's nothing threatening right now, so we just gotta become... You know, as long as we... This is the tip when it comes to survival games. 
As long as you stay calm. You know, as long as you stay calm. We're fine. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. I, I think. Okay, no, I'm actually going the right way. Thank you, bud. <laughs> We're... So far, though, it's... Hold on. What day is it already? It's probably gonna be nighttime soon. And we don't... Oh, no, it's already half a day. We gotta hurry. What other weapons do you have? Also, hi, Migi. Hello there, Mondi. Thank you for tuning in today's stream. I appreciate it. I have a shotgun with me. But it's a little bit heavy, so I'm not using it right now. I can show you. I already did show it to the chat earlier. I will be calm as Saint Bolt if the wolves start running at me. No. 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 We're fine. Nope. Hold on. Hold on. We're not being chased. We're not being chased. We're not being chased. As long as we're not being chased, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. I will become as Usain Bolt if them wolves come running at me. The thing is, you can scare them with the torch. If you can scare them with the torch, you're fine. We could do that. We can always put up, pull out a flare right here. Yeah, we have a flare. As long as we have a flare, we're fine. Usually, that's the way you can just scare them off pretty easy. I saw her using a Lee Infield Mondine. Then there's that flare. <laughs> okay, so that's just stags. That's fine. You know that. You know that. It actually didn't take us three days. It actually didn't take us three nights. It just took one day. Actually, it depends. You know, it depends. We're gonna get there too. It's a pretty large map. I actually appreciate it. I wish I can tour you guys throughout the map. But you know, the bear is out there. We do have to get things done. Or else we're doomed. We don't wanna be we don't wanna get ourselves in trouble and accidentally run into the bear and ignore the objectives. <laughs> there is like a separate mode for this game, like a survival game, just vanilla survival game. You are you do what you can. They give you all of the They give you the freedom to do whatever you want in the little sandbox thing. Winter themed games kinda suit you, Miki. Of course. My birthday is in winter. My theme is in winter. Don't get married. <laughs> I won't. Hold on. It's so... I swear, the OST in this game... is so melancholy. Like, I know it's supposed to be a very melancholic game. But at the same time... I would also like... I would like I would also like different types of OST where it's like sometimes a little bit somber hat somber joy Hey wait why am I going back? It's not the plan. Hold on. I just went back. That's just annoying. See, you know if, when it gets so foggy, it gets really difficult to see things. Like I can't see things most of the time when it gets this foggy. We're gonna have to go down here. You should be fine though. As long as we don't run into anything serious, then we'll be. It's just gonna take us back to the where where we came from. Engine. Where? Huh. Oh, wait, there it is. I knew there was like a passageway that we can go into. Oh, ow, 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 my leg, my leg. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter the vehicle. What's up with the music of this game? It feels like suffering. It's supposed to feel like suffering. Yeah, Mr. Cat. This game, if when I play this game alone, chat, back when i was still pre-recording these videos i'm usually very soft i'm very i'm usually very like trying to match the mood of the game for a survival game it's strange it didn't get the pump fast oh no 
It's actually way fun if you don't have a compass. Okay, we got... Hold on. Hold on. Let's wear the scarf. Accessories. Eh? Where's the scarf? Scarfy. Why can't we... Oh, wait. It's the scarf of our ex-wife. It's the scarf of our ex-wife, everybody. Let's go. Oh, my... No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's oh, fine. Shit. It's fine. It's fine. Hello there. Hello there. Oh, 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 well, thank you. I needed that. Thank you. Well, at least you guys got a close up of the bear. It's already what? nighttime. No. Why is it nighttime? I no. N game? Game? G game? G game? G game, you can't be serious. I was expecting a yeti. <laughs> no, it's a bear. It's just a regular bear. It's a brown bear. Is that Good a to know. Fire? Yeah, it's a brown bear. Ch oh, wow. Okay, Chad, I'm gonna let you guys admire this view. Look at it. Look at the Aurora Borealis! This is the exact night that I crash landed in Earth. This same view. So you guys enjoy it for yourselves as well. That is one vengeful bear. The fact that it can push over trains, I'm surprised. Let's admire the view for a bit. Oh no. Yeah. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Aurora Berry Alice? No! Aurora Berry Alice! Oh, sorry. How do I keep my gun away? Uh, hold on. How do I keep my gun away again? No! I'm used to Fallout controls! How do I keep my gun away? Uh, Alright, there we go. Hello there, Methuselah. You again. How goes the war, my friend? Uh, war? The war between man and nature, of course. Yes. The but light wait, war? Sky, you and the bear. The cold. The hunger. The old fights returning. Did you scare the bear away? No. There was no bear when I found you. Perhaps it isn't yet time for your paths to cross? Listen, old man. I'm, I'm not, not sure. sure. you still believe things are going to go back to the way they were? No. The lights in the sky. Remember, I said they were a reckoning. They're powering the lights around us? Now you see. How are they a reckoning, though? Can't be. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. And yet, it has happened. Uh, let's... Ask about what exactly is the Aurora doing, since apparently it's lighting up all the lights. It's giving us lights. So, this is some Electricity kind of lights. Ring Aurora Borealis? Possibly. And it's affecting the electricity? The power? And everything dependent on it. Animating it or destroying it. Perhaps both. And you knew this was coming? No, but it was only a matter of time. This has all happened before. Oh, okay. Scare the bear, beware. That dude looks like a. No! Monty! <laughs> Really? That that's the first thing you notice about Methuselah? I have this odd feeling you pressed tab. Did you expect you had a pit boy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I expected I had a pit boy. <laughs> or a Borealis at this time at year at time of day in this part of country localized entirely within your game. Yes. I'm a little curious how is that old grandma doing now? Is she sadly chaos? Yes, she is gone. Appar she's already gone. I am it's already hinted at the game. 
She's gone. Old grandma is gone. So let's Yeah. Okay, let's ask about the wildlife. I've had a lot of trouble with wildlife lately. Is it always this dangerous around here? Mackenzie, please. I've seen many strange things, of course. But the birds and beasts, their rhythms are their own. Meaning? The patterns of nature have been interrupted, broken. Even those who once knew how to read them are now confused. What do you think spooking the wildlife? I can't say for sure, but the lights in the sky may hold the answer. So you think the aurora is influencing the wildlife too? See, I told you guys, there there's something going on. There's something peculiar going understand. on. It's like the magnitude, the so magnetic strange? fields are changing. You know, the magnetic fields that run course the earth is changing. You know how that... Oh my god, it's pink! Oh my god, the aurora for you! This is pink right now! It's pink and it's green. It's pink and it's green, Chad. It's pink and it's green. Lovely. Absolutely lovely sights. Let's continue on, shall we? Okay, I need to take out my gun. Okay. Let's continue on. We don't have any other options to go other than, you know, to go this way. We need to take a little bit of a detour. But there is a wolf right in front of us. There's like four wolves. Wait, no. Is it gone? Dead grandma? No! Acts are terrible hunting. Oh my god, that wolf is glowing! The wolf is glowing, chat! Holy crap. Okay, okay. Oh no. Oh no. The wolf is glowing! Why is the wolf glowing? Okay, we're gonna have to... Uh, we're gonna have to take refuge, please. For refuge, refuge. Close the door for now. Close the door. I have to take refuge a little bit in this cabin shed. Oh no, I feel like crying right now. Poor granny. I know chaos, but it's okay. It, it's better. It's better this way. Sometimes you have to let go of the things we love to make them free. <laughs> oh yeah, we definitely don't want to tear things to shreds. It's not bad, but you don't want to ruin the meat by spraying 30 rounds of 70. <laughs> I won't. I won't spray it. The Wolf of Wall Street starting Leo. Why, why is Leo such a name popping up in this stream? What is up with Leo, guys? It's a shiny Pokemon. No. I, I wish it wasn't, though. Okay. We're gonna have to sneak in a little bit. Okay, no, the game saved. That's bad. That's bad. I don't want that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no way. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. Leave me alone. We're gonna have to see. There, look, the shed is right there. The shed is just inches away from me reaching it. I just need to get in there. Let's get in there. All right. Let's get in. No! Why is it locked? No! Okay, okay, okay. Lo lock the door. Close the door. Oh, I can't close the door. Well, great. We can't close the door. What exactly is the Aurora Borealis supposed to do? Okay, we have a bed. We have a metal container here. I better take this food. Yeah, I guess we can eat. We'll eat in a bit. Hold on. I wanna eat, please. Granola bar would do. Maybe the wolf just needs to be petted. It's glowing though. Why would the why would the wolf glow? Something mysterious going on. Let's check this drawer. Okay, there's nothing. As expected. Like my soul. Understandable. Uh, this one, I think. Scrap metal, no. I don't really need one. I really want some water, though. Oh, a hacksaw. 
Oh, I want to take the hacksaw, chat. I want to take the hacksaw. Wait, what can we... What can we drop? I want to take the hacksaw. That is so important. That would be so important later down in... Later down the... Oh, the hacksaw! I, I want the hacksaw. Ah, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll come back for the hacksaw, maybe. We'll come back for it. We'll come back for it. Okay, maintenance shed. Wow, look at this place. It looks really creepy in here. Hard box box. No, there's nothing in there. It's so creepy in here, chat. Like, what is going on here? Fire barrel. Water. Like, what is this place? Why is it all buzzing like this? I know the aurora is causing it, but like... Look! The TV! Look, wow, that is a very old TV, chat. What year does this take place? That's a very old TV. Metal shelf. Oh, we have a bunch of lockers. Oh yeah, we can open this one. I'm getting Fallout vibes. This will come in handy. Uh, no. Does it? Is it giving you Fallout vibes? New windbreaker. Okay. I don't really need a windbreaker right now. Huh. We got a toilet. Remember in Fallout New Vegas, we can drink from the toilet? That was fun. That was really fun. I've always wanted to drink from the toilet. Uh-huh. Anything else we can, like, take? You have a few... Okay, okay, what? I don't... Pallet? No. How do I get in there? I wanna get in there. There's a... There's a dispenser here. Okay, we have a fridge. Searching freezer. Yeah, something very wrong is going in that storage house. Does it flush though? No. Uh, it does not flush. We have a cup of coffee. We have a radio. We can't open it. Oh. I'm forcing it open. I could use I'm this. sad there's no like lock check that we can do. Leave it. Leave it. No. I don't, I don't really need any of those things right now. Right, get 10 rads. Get 10 rads for every sip in the toilet bowl. Not surprised if your character has a third arm now. It's alright. But nobody needs to know. I mean, how would you know? I don't even show my character to you guys in third person. So I might have four arms right now. You may never know. This stuff will come in handy. Swing kit. No. What can we... What exactly is this shed? Like, what is, what is it supposed to be? There should be some notes lying around here. But nothing. 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 Absolutely nothing. There's absolutely nothing at all. We got more chocolate bars. We got a book. Okay. Nothing really important. Oh, wait. There's this one. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Purple tea tin of sardines. I was really expecting something more here. I might have missed a few more. Who Shit, knows? That burns. Oh, no! I'm burning! Oh, right. Why did I go through there? Oh, ouchie. That kind of hurts. Okay. Uh, feels like it's still burning. I'm sorry. Fake killers with new? Lol. <laughs> Antiseptic? Oh, that hurts so much. Emergency stim? Uh, well, we're gonna die here, chat. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, feels like it's still burning. Uh, we don't have any bat. Oh wait. Uh huh. Where, do we do we have any clot? Crap. We have no clots. Not a clot. Not a clot. Not a clot. How are you burning? 
Excuse me? The pain. Like, calm down, Mackenzie. You're fine. You're fine, Mackenzie. Don't worry about it. Treat the burns. You have any ointment? I do have ointment. But the thing is, the thing about ointments is that... Mmm... Little orange soda. Excellent. Gonna take it. The thing about ointments, Chad, is that I don't have any. I don't have any ointments that can help. Huh. Oh wait, here we are. Bandages. I think I can use this. Perfect. Hey, killers. Yeah, I'll take it. See, chat? See? It was supposed to happen. It was going to happen, chat. That was that was going to happen, chat. Hold on. This one? Use for cleaning wounds. Yeah, I guess we can use it. Use. Let's clean the wound first. Yeah. Let's clean the wound. Damn it. Really? This one? Nothing. Am I supposed to wrap it up? Okay, there we go. We heal the treatment do did not do anything. Oh well. We have no choice, chat. We're just gonna have to sleep it, huh? Bro, at least Vaseline, nothing. Nothing. That's an electrical burn. That stinks a lot. Might want to put on. Yeah, but the thing is, it did not work. Yeah, I knew it. We're just going to have to sleep it off away. At least it's morning now. You don't have to deal with anything more. Cold is making my head feel thick. Let's search for other stuff here. We got more bandages. That's pretty great. Plastic container. Man, that sucks. I knew it. That is so evil of the game. In real life, you're gonna need some ointment. I'm gonna take what it. Have we here? That is so evil of the game. Peter plug. No. Uh huh. When? What can we do then? It doesn't even like... What can we use to clean it out? I mean, I already did clean out the wound. Well, we're just gonna have to deal with this kind of injury, guys. Oh! I didn't see this! They hate the light! Who hates the light? I didn't notice this. They hate the light. Why do they hate the light? Oh, here it is! Here it is! Here it is! Aurora Observations. Read text. I'm surprised those water bottles are still liquid. I know. Those lights in the sky are doing some funny things to the machines around here. We found this old shed and the computers started turning on by themselves. Lamps lighting up. We tried to call down to the main office. We tried to call down the main office when the Aurora or whatever it's called is out. But we're not getting through. Can't tell if the phones even work. These are just a handful of us from the winter crew holed up in here. Some of them want to try for the coast and supplements there. If you find this, that's where we've gone. Oh, we could go to the coast. We're still hoping for Breaker House sends a team up before it comes to that. Even with the fire barrel we brought indoors, it's still a bit cold. Okay, at least there were some previous crew from here. There was like a previous... uh. Winter crew here. We're gonna have to head to the coast at some point. But you know. We have to get the spear first. Oh wait. Hold on. Is my... Is it damaged? No, I don't think it's damaged. It's just a little bit cold. It's just a little bit cold. We're just gonna have to... Yeah, we're just gonna have to get through this. We are almost there after all. 
we're getting close to the we're getting close to the uh, house as long as we make it through there we're fine i just hope we don't run into any moose we're fine that one is a stack i think yeah see they run away from you emp from the aurora i think so yeah it could be and myrel oh no why did i go here i could have taken the bridge let's take the bridge i don't really want to take the thin ice here taking the thin ice pad is very dangerous i hope you guys have hot chocolate in your in your hands at least hot chocolate nearby because this this game makes it definitely feel the wetter i already feel so cold also i really suggest you guys check out the my first videos from this um game because it can be very fun i did take so much time editing those i'm just glad i finally get to having coffee tonight i do wish i had cocoa can we go in here okay we can go i'm closing this one though i'm, I'm closing the gate remember to always close the door behind you whenever you enter anything oh it's close the door behind you or else okay we're getting pretty close to freezing so we gotta have to hurry we're gonna have to hurry a little bit oh my god that's fascinating that's that's just moving it up way too fast yeah, coffee's good. Coffee's good. Coffee's great. I have pizza here with me, but I can't eat the pizza right now. I really want to eat the pizza, though. We gotta hurry. Can we? Ju can I just start a fire here? Alright! Die if I don't warm up soon. Don't worry, we're 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 so close, Mackenzie. We're just we're we're very close. Just, just, just hold on here for me, buddy. Just hold on a little bit. Just hold on a little bit more. Just hold on a little bit more. Come on, we can get through this. All right, we can get through this together. It's pizza time. I really want to eat the pizza. Ch I really want to eat the pizza, but I know there's like some of you. I know it's like bad streaming etiquette if you wow. like eat during a stream. Must have been really nice. I mean, as a streamer, time. okay, it's bad streamer etiquette if a streamer <sighs> eats in stream. It just doesn't sound very nice, especially when you have viewers that don't have food by themselves, by them by their side. So it's very rude. Now, so I'm gonna eat them later. To find that spear. Okay, we're finally back. Let's turn on the fire first. I do want to get warm a little bit. So... Accelerator? Oh, we don't have fuel? Are you kidding me? We don't have fuel? What? I made it all the way here and there's no fuel. Well, I can't get there. Do they have any fuel peanut butter? Nice, that's cool. I've always wanted peanut butter. Oh my god! Phone, 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 Eh? Didn't this phone ring though? Okay. Are we home? Yes, we are home, Mr. Cat. Uh huh. Oh, here it is. Oh no, that's. You have a flashlight. What is that? Why was there a cutscene for that? I don't get it. Why was there a cutscene for that part? I didn't really get that chat. Why was there a cutscene for that? Uh, we got a water. Oh, horse talker. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on, give me a moment. Did you bring any flammable liquid? I... I only have an accelerant. 
know. There's gotta be... Okay, well, let's take the broken spear first. Oh, it's broken! Yeah. Looks like one little detail got missed in the trapper's legend of the old bear. Yeah, it's... The spear didn't survive the fight. Yeah, it's broken. Not cool. Must be something I can use to fix it in that old machine shed. Start fire. Nothing. Shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're too heavy. I need to drop something. Oh, no, we're too heavy. I have to drop something. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're dropping this then. It is quite heavy on us. What can I drop, though? Okay, we're dropping all this tea. Uh-huh, sewing kit. Oh, uh, no. Am I still... I'm still, is this still at risk. Oh! I need two painkillers for that. Okay, two painkillers. I knew it. I didn't know painkillers solve everything. So let's do that. Use. <sighs> really? We're Come healed on. from that? Come on. We're, we're healed from that? Eat some of the food instead. Yeah, we can do that. Let's start with the sardines. That gives us a lot of, like, fulfillment. This one, too. Pant peaches. Bang. Uh, beef jerky. Beef jerky is appetizing. Can I pour the accelerant in some sticks? No, because... I know if the hypothermia wouldn't kill It doesn't me. really work if you, like... Oh, wait. No. Yeah, it doesn't really work if you're like... You have no fuel. You have no gas. We have lamp oil too, but nothing. We're gonna have to look at the... Huh. Oh, this one is rabbits? Oh, I thought... Oh, sorry, Mr. Cat. Oh, here it is. Here you go. <laughs> Fish. This game has a lot of items. Plus points for me. You can actually hoard a lot of items in this game. I think it wants you to collect wood. Oh, right. Wood. I forgot wood exists. <laughs> Hold on. I did. There we this go. That was, that was embarrassing of me. I apologize, chat. That was embarrassing. I forgot. I forgot wood was a thing. I forgot wood was the fuel. Not the gasoline. We have the gasoline. Bruh, I didn't mean to. I'm gonna have to it's been a while since I played this game, okay? What did fish? Huh? What? Start fire, please. Let's put the gasoline on fire. Come on, please. Come on. Why is it failing? What? What is wrong with you? Oh, the Tinder. Here we go. Let's 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 use a better Tinder this time. Please. This oh god, this game. This game is very unforgiving with the start fire starters as well. That didn't work. Okay, you know what? We're gonna use this. We're gonna go the other way. Let's use an accelerant. There we go. Finally. That's much better. Finally, we're all warmed up. Let's continue. Let's read the note from downstairs. Because that was pretty important. Maybe I need to pour the lighter fuel. Yep, already did. It's already warm. Do you guys feel the warm? Do you guys feel a little bit warmer? Hopefully it isn't too cold. Firearm cleaning kit. Rifle ammunition. Rifle cartridge. Gauntlets. I could use this. Oh, cool! We can replace our gloves now. We're get, we could get even warmer. Oh, wait, never mind. 
No, it's too heavy. I'm not gonna take it. Forest talker map note. Meet up at the abandoned building hunting lodge on the outskirt of Mystery Lake Park. GPS coordinates. We have to stop Ray your house. Corporative. Expletive. Take it. There's... We have a quest here? Survival school? No, wait, no. A quest here, people. People, people. Select. Jeremiah. A tough old trapper. No. You have a bunch of quests here. Like... Oh, no. Places? Hey, general notes. How come I don't have any general notes? That's so weird. Hold on. Don't I have any... The Wounded Trapper. Forest Talker Supply Cache. An eco-activist group have left supply caches hidden in different regions around Great Bear Island. They could prove useful if found. I feel not- I feel worried, not warm. I feel swarm in mosquitoes instead. Why do you guys feel swarmed by mosquitoes? It doesn't feel like it will be full with mosquitoes, you know? This place feels nothing. Nothing is flying. It will be too cold. See, there's even a crafting table here, guys. But I never use it. Why? Because. Anything in there? Anything else we can grab? Oh, this is a this is a tub. He's been swimming in here. Well, no, not swimming. He's been he's been taking a bath here. Skeetos. Hold on, let's drink the water. That's not a water. You know, it's probably not healthy of me to drink a lot of sodas like this. Not that we have a choice, though. Let's go up to his bedroom. Yeah, let's go up. See, Mr. Cat, look! Fish! We found fish. We found fish for you. It, it's definitely not edible, but at least it is fish. I told you there was fish in this house. It's just not the fish you want, though, unfortunately. We got a little treasure chest. Hope nobody needs this anymore. No. I don't really need that. Aw, uh, old lady. Uh, one more? Here? Why would you need this many beds in one house? Was this... Did this used to be like a breakfast and bed thingy? This this was probably a breakfast breakfast and bed kind of like house player shell. Oh, we got boots. Work boots? No, it's too ragged. I'm not gonna take it if it's like too ragged or something. Uh huh. Cabinet. What have we New baseball here? cap. New cotton. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it and then we... Oh, never mind. It's weaker. I'm not taking it. Look, why is there so many bathtubs in here? There's way too many beds. And there's only like two bathtubs in this house. Like, what is going on here? This is very sussy. I'm hoping it's Monster Energy Drink Zero Ultra. The Gopnik's choice of drink for the Chernobyl cuisine. I don't think that would be very healthy, but okay. I'm not stopping any of you, chat. So we have to get here and then here. The best defense. Find Astrid. Yeah, Astrid is the name of our wife. Ex-wife. Sorry about that. Maybe it was a camp house? Maybe. Should we sleep off the day first? Yeah, I think we should rest a little bit. Let's sleep off the day. Actually, no. Let's just kill time first. And then we sleep off the day. We're gonna be very tired. Seven hours of pastime doing nothing. That line was totally not sponsored. Definitely not sponsored. Not, not. Can you imagine this? You're like playing cards all day all by yourself just to wait for the night type to come by okay straight water 
Water, please. Oh, wait, no, it's potent water. Hold on, is potent water clean water again? I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot which one is it. As long as it says potent, that does that mean it's clean? Is that... <laughs> Eight hours of sleep is the moderate one. So let's sleep. Let's see if it's morning. I want it to be morning. Is it morning? Or is it... No, it's still nighttime. So we're gonna have to pass again. <laughs> don't worry, chat. We're just gonna have to... We're just passing time. We don't wanna deal... We don't wanna deal the... We don't, we don't want to deal with the stuff that's happening in nighttime. Nighttime, the long dark is very scary. Like, supremely scary. Because you can't see anything at all. It's hard to see anything at nighttime. Well, we do have a flashlight, but I don't really want to waste the batteries of that flashlight. So let's go. We're good to go. I really thought it was like... Chad, I really thought that... Somebody is calling us. This phone was ringing before. Or was it just me? Sorry, I'm late. How is it going? Hello there, Mario! Thank you so much for tuning in today's stream. I appreciate it. How is the evening treating you? Yeah, I'm doing well. But so far... I'm just trying to get through the day. Like, I'm trying to get through. Oh, wait, we have a car battery. I can't take this with me, so we're gonna have to. I could eat anything. We're gonna have to let it sit for a while. Wait, what is that? No, that's just a rock. As long as we're. As long as we're okay. Oh, let me know, chat. You know? That man has been living off for liquid for days. No, I ate beef jerky, guys. I ate beef jerky. But listen, you can go on for a week without eating. But water, you can't go three days without water. Don't even try, chat. You can't go three days without water. You need water. Like, I'm not even kidding. I don't survive without water. Humans are very thirsty people. Guess you could say it's a liquid diet. <laughs> yes, it's a liquid diet. That... Gosh, that... I swear. You guys should never change, okay? Whenever you pull off things like that, never change. Okay, we're getting close. You just gotta believe. So the goal is we have to go to the cash box. If you guys weren't uh, here for the fire watch streams, cash box is like an emergency ration box that you can find in woods like these. They are usually left behind by rangers, so good for us. We have, we have like, we have rations to help us survive this scary, scary winter. Look at it, it's blowing so hard on us. You have no sheds, nothing. No sheds. Nothing. We have to we gotta have to deal with the cold. And I really feel the cold. Like it's I can feel snowflakes pouring on my back. I can feel it on my back, guys. I thought it's one month without food. One month? It's really one month without food? Okay, that's actually quite longer than I remember. Good to know that it's all it's one month without food. But I just think one month without food is just so sad. What do you think is harder to find, chat? Water or food? What do you think which one is harder to find? Water or food? It's a winter wonderland. It's beginning to look a lot like I'm not gonna continue the song because just in case. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. Na 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 na
Na na na na na na. Oh wait, we have to go here. We have to go up this hill because this is where the cash box was. I don't really want to go up the hill though. Water that is safe to drink. Yeah, do do you think it's easier to find water compared to food? Like you can you can go on a whole day without food. And it will be fine. No, I'm going the wrong way. Where's the right way? Where's the right way to get to that? Mm. Water is definitely harder to find since you can literally eat anything without nourishment. I wouldn't... Well, if you're trying to survive, yeah, you're gonna have to be forced to eat everything and anything that you can. But at the same time, I wouldn't recommend eating anything and everything. Like, you have to be careful. You don't want to accidentally eat something that is just going to bring you down. Where exactly is that cash box? I don't get it. You know, Chad, I've never been good at directions. So I have to apologize if you see clown. I'm just circling around in circles, burning daylight. That's why us hikers bring two or three gallons with flasks along because we'll never know if we get stranded. I think it's already too late. I'm already stranded. Well, no, we're not stranded. I know where to go. But it's just that I don't have the map with me at all times. Okay. No, this is fragile eyes. I don't want to deal with fragile eyes. Okay, as long as we get around this icy lake, maybe we're fine. Hunter's blind. See, I told you it's supposed to be a blind. This place is supposed to make you confused. Look at it. The title of the place is called Hunter's Blind. And it's really blowing so hard. Do you guys feel the snowflakes on your skin, chat? You can feel it. I Am I the only one that's feeling it? Like, this place is so cold. I can feel this game is so cold i can feel the snowflakes hitting my face okay i can even find my way in minecraft so it's relatable truly actually you know um you can navigate your way through minecraft if you memorize your coordinates and then you press F5 to like open the coordinates bar so you can like follow. So you can like go back to the original place where you once were. At least that's what I do. If I want to find my base again in case I accidentally lose myself in the caves. In the caves or in the forest somewhere. And always use the coordinates. But here, there's no coordinates guys. You have to rely on like natural landmarks. Wait, did I miss it already? No. I missed it? Where's the cash box? Oh, here. Oh, wait, it's a, it's a full base. Eh? Eh? Where? Where's the cash box? I'm in the place. Wait, what? Where's the cash box? Oh, here it is. I've been looking for you. Hello, Epad. Thank you so much for tuning in today's stream. I appreciate it. Thank you for saying hi as well. Everybody in the chat, please welcome Epad. Accelerant. I don't really need it. I don't really need it. I don't really need that. Ketchup chips. Do you guys eat this? Do you guys eat ketchup chips? I never really found this very nice. I have a specific brand of ketchup chips that i eat so i don't trust any other brand of ketchup chips unless it's that brand let me know chat let me know if you guys eat one of these things because honestly i really don't i don't eat these things they, they seem a little bit weird we took nothing at all from we took nothing at all from that place 
We took that again over from the cash. I really thought there was something useful there, but no, I already have a lot of useful things in my backpack. So never mind. Let's smoothly run around. Get through inside. Like right up here. I could eat anything right now. Like right here. Let's take a little spin. All right. Pick this up. Let's eat something. They do. They do have here. No, it's a little bit expired. Pork and beans. Be great. Space. Looks fine to eat for me. Hold on, I did see that one. I've been invited to a couple of hiking, camping trips before, but never had the chance to do college and work. Anybody want to share their experiences to know we'll know so we know what we'll look forward to? Canned foods, potable water, containers, friends that don't complain every 30 minutes. <laughs> friends that don't complain every 30 minutes, that's true. Unfortunately, it's 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 bound to happen. Friends are gonna complain about a lot of things. So what do we have to do? Repair the broken spear at the forge. Okay, we are we we are at the forge now. So this is one of them. All right. Where do we repair it though? Are we supposed to repair it over here? Yeah. <laughs> this way. Uh huh. Yeah. Not there. Oh. Where do I repair it? Where's the repair area? Is it in here? No. Okay, here's the workbench. Oh, wait. No. So the workbench. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Hot chips look fine to eat. Oh no, it wasn't hot chips even. It was ketchup. It was ketchup. It's not spicy chips. If you're really in a cold place, the alcohol will only keep you warm. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know alcohol has that kind of effect. I don't really drink, guys. So... There's always that one guy in that group. Yeah, like this guy. I didn't even know he was here. Or a stalker flyer? It's time to rise up. We can no longer stand idle and watch our beloved great bear continue. What the? Anyways. Ah. Uh, what the heck is with that text? I'm not. I'm not reading that out loud. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, I swear, this game, this game takes me by the surprise. By surprise. Miki knows that there will be friends that complain a lot because me and Joey are a part of it. Ah. Uh, it's fine. There's nothing we can do. It just happens, you know. This is why I exist, chat. You know, when it comes to like survival collabs, I'm always the responsible one. I got. I'll make sure that none of them does anything. I'll make sure that none of you guys do anything stupid. <laughs> I won't fail you guys. Where is the spear? I don't get it. We're at the J. Uh, retrieve, repair the broken bear spear at the forge. Is this the forge? This one? Oh, we have to go back home, do we? Wait, no! This is where we are. Mystery Lake. Camp office. This one is... Trapper's homestead. No, this is the forge. How do I repair it though? I can't even find it. I can't find the spear. 
Good thing you're still surviving in the cold island and the house warm. Yeah, there's fires that keeps this place warm. And there's a lot of electricity, so it's bound to be warm. Let's see. Oh, here's a spear. Spearhead, forge, two scrap metal, one heavy hammer. 1.5 hours. Okay, so we got... We need to find metal. Well, there's a bunch of metal everywhere. So... Let's grab... Mm. We're gonna have to find it somewhere. It's right here. We're gonna have to find it. Reclaim wood. Nope. Let's... Okay, I have an idea, chat. I have an idea on how we can repair this spear. Okay. So let's take the hacksaw. Uh-huh. Hacksaw. Hacksaw. Where is the hacksaw? We are... Uh, where's the hacksaw here? Where's the hacksaw? Oh, here it is. Okay. Now, where can we cut through metal? Okay. Breakdown. Liquor is more like a necessity than a luxury. Especially if you're setting up in a cold area. Also, thanks, Bishop. I'll take your word about hiking experience whenever we get the chance. All good, brother. Oh, you guys call each other brother. I like you. Okay. So, at the forge... Where can I get a heavy hammer, though? Is there, like, a heavy hammer right lying around somewhere? Surrounded by snow. Nothing to... Stop complaining, Mackenzie! You just drank water! Don't be too greedy! Huh. Okay, we got crates over here. Where can I find that heavy hammer thingy? It should be around here somewhere. Like, actually, right in front of us. <sighs> Heavy hammer! Doko! Heavy hammer, please. Heavy hammer. Excellent. Hatchet. Already have one. Already have one. Heavy hammer. No, already have one. Heavy hammer. Hello? Heavy hammer. Where's the heavy hammer? Wait. There should be heavy hammers here. There's no way the game won't leave us with any hammers. That'll come in handy. Either fuel. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe it was Maybe it was somewhere here. In here? No, no, that's a fridge. In here, in here. Where's the hammer? Where did I miss it the first time? Hammer! There's no hammer here. Maybe in here? Guys, 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 let me know if I miss- if I miss a hammer. If you guys see the hammer anywhere, let me know. Because I can't find it right now. This stuff will come in handy. Let me know if you guys see any hammer or any resemblances of an hammer, please. The broken metal control box. Okay, you know, I don't really want to break it down. Uh, or a box. No. Eh. Let me know, chat. Let me know if you see any hammers that we can use. Where's the hammer? Oh, here it is! The heavy hammer! Okay, great. Could end up being useful. Okay. Forge temperature required... 150 degrees? We're gone. Forge temperature required 150 degrees. Okay. Wait, is it supposed to be coming from outside?
Okay, you know what? I'm taking Someone's it. Gotta go. Huh. Okay. We're gonna take some wood. If you see the hammer, say hammer. Reminds me of a certain girl who likes adventuring into the wilderness. Check the boxes. If you see a workshop, you might get lucky. Yep, I did find the hammer already. It's like I've been right so here. Hungry in my life. Come on. Eh? I wanna drink water though. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Alright, do we have to go outside for that? Okay. We have to go outside. Do we have to fuel anything from outside? Okay. There is a... There is a... There is an exit, so... We could do that. We could do that very quickly. Okay, here it is. Let's go outside real quick. Eh? Why is it locked? I don't get that. No. Okay, so the forge is way over there. Okay. Check everything stops if you see something, supplies, objects. Alright. Let's go all the way around. Um Are we supposed to fix any generators? Oh, I hope we don't need to fix generators. That's gonna remind me of Left 4 Dead 2. Looks like the door is locked. Oh, here. Where does it go? Where does the fuel go? In here? How can we power that up? Uh, where can we power that thing up? Snow is blocking the door. Yeah, good point. I thought so too. Where can we power that up? Where can we power it up? I don't get that. Do we have to wait another Aurora Boralis or something? Fixing generator! Alpha's Pog! No! I hope not! Oh, here it is. Port belly stove? Oh no, that's not it. How can we... Oh, are we supposed to make this whole room... ...very hot or something? Is that how it's supposed to be? Where do we check the temperature, though? Okay, so it feels like three Celsius. And what did the forge say? It wants 150. Forge temperature required. Yeah, but the thing is, how do I do that? How do I do that? Well, we have enough supplies, so let's try it out. Forge temperature required. All right. Let's use accelerant then. And uh, let's grab coal first. Coal works. Coal works. I think I can use this. Oh, that's. Oh, well. Okay. We didn't need to do that. Alright. Let's go. Start fire. I thought we just need to put that coal into it. the forge and light it up. Yep, we're fine. I finally got it. What is going on? Let's do this. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's make the spear. Oh, yeah, the heavy hammer. I could use I this. And begin crafting. Let's go. Let's get down to business. Guess I can add blacksmith to my growing to list of defeat skills. the Huns. Did they send me daughters? Let's hope I don't have to put this spear to the test. When I ask for sons, 
You're the saddest bunch I ever met. But you can bet before we're through. Mister, I'll make a man out of you. Okay, we need to drop the heavy hammer though. <laughs> it's too heavy. We'll get we'll go back for this guys. Don't worry about it. D don't worry. We'll come back for it. Hold on, let me just get rid of the items. Let's just eat chocolate bars. New weapon, nice. Are we getting the, near the final battle or something? Astra Spear? No, we're not getting near the the final battle. The battle hasn't begun, guys. It hasn't it hasn't even started. We're just about to get there. So let's get it. I thought you were gonna keep the hammer so you can bunk the wolves or something. No, it's too it's too heavy. I wouldn't be able to like I wouldn't be able to run around. Running around is like the best way you can survive in this game. At least in my opinion. Let's get it. We have a new weapon. The spe excuse me. We have the new weapon. The spear. And now all we need to do is just get through the day. Oh no, it's about to be night time. Hold on, chat. I know we're very excited to go home. Same here, but look at the time. Look at the time. Look at the sun. Look at the sun right over there. You know, this is the first time I've seen the place look this awesome. Look at the view, guys. I can finally show it off since it looks very clear. We're gonna sleep. It's past the time first. Like, four hours, maybe. We're good. I thought you were gonna keep the... Oh, man, that would be a painful bonk I've ever... <laughs> Actually, that's a good name. I thought you finally obtained a legendary spear or something. I didn't know it's just another part of your arsenal. It is just another part of the arsenal. Alright, it's about to be night time. Let's drink. Let's do our one last hoof. Now let's get rolling. Let's rolling, rolling, rolling. Eight hours of sleep, that will do perfectly. Should we give it a name? Yeah, Chad, give it a name if you want. If you want to give the gun a name, do so. The part about the blind granny makes me sad, but it's not the saddest part. Uh-oh. Let's pass the time. I need something to drink. Why so are you so thirsty? I don't get it. I don't get why he's so thirsty though. Big boy, this stick. Huge toothpick. Wow, I can barely see anything. Never mind. I can barely see anything, chat. I can barely see a thing. All right. Let's just cook this water first. I want a Dyson Poseidon spear. You guys have a lot. Uh, you guys have different names: toothpick, Poseidon spear, Dyson spear, fish spear. That's that's good. That's also good. I get because it. it. What? I just wanna. I just want to start a fire. There we go, uh, finally. Let's water, please. Black, melt snow. Uh, cook. Wow, how is this cup not burning? 18 minutes until melted? Are you kidding me? No. Brittany? We're gonna keep- we're gonna call it this Brittany. <laughs> Uncle Bob's barbecue stick? <laughs> Who is Uncle Bob? You guys have a lot of names. I can't put them all in one poll. You guys have- you guys need to discuss if you want to keep it. 
Can we collect water from melting snow? Yes, we can. We currently did it. We currently did it just now. Ah, oh, Chad, look. It's very, it's very, it's very threatening, isn't it? Complete darkness. I just turned it off just so we don't waste any fuel. Why do I need to generate more heat when in a cold place? Which requires a lot of sustenance than usual. Oh, definitely. Eight minutes until melted. Let's see if it can last us. Six minutes. What the hell? That fire is ridiculous for just boiling that cup of water. I know. I'm surprised this recycled cup is not melted yet. I'm pretty sure plat metal can melt. You get through this though. Non potable water. Can we drink it now? Water may, may leave it. Okay, it's not yet safe. Okay, we're gonna have to wait. Dead by daylight vibes? Oh, definitely. It's about to be morning now, though, which is pretty great. You could you could even see the light peeking out, the sun peeking out, like right there. My logic is burning. <laughs> Did I worry about it, chat? Did I stress the details? You know, it it really feels like we're having a campfire, don't you think so, chat? Eh? Add fuel, please. Add fuel. There we go. Doesn't it feel like we're having a great time? Eh? Okay. Look at it. We're roasting. I mean, we're making water together, you know? We're cooking water together. We're having a fun time. Staring at the flames. As the world burns, I mean, as the world freezes around us. We're good. We're fine. Okay, can we not drink this yet? Okay, we're just gonna have to sit here then. She's like a fad. She's gonna extort the stream, the steam through her skin. I can though. I'm surprised he could touch that thing. He does have gloves, so we're pretty great. Rink. Okay. Let's pick up. Are we good now? Are we not thirsty anymore? Okay, let's go back. the way you put uh you put away things by age and not tab i've been doing the f i've been doing it the fallout way that's why i keep struggling so hard all right you know i just can't get fallout out of my mind i do things by fallout and now i'm just struggling all right let's put it out and let's Sleep a little bit. Fast pass, pass the time by three hours. Yurika. I'm surprised you could... Uh, yes, Piki, pull that magical pip boy on your left arm. I'm sorry, but... I really can't forget about it. It became such a regular habit for me, okay? I played... Whenever it's like winter... It's Fallout New Vegas season for me. Because I played the game... During the summer, I played Fallout New Vegas during the summer, anything about now. and it's fun. You know, it's it's really fun. I enjoyed it so much. Like, does it doesn't this remind you of that snowy part in California? You know, the one with the mutants and everything. Doesn't that remind you of that? For those who are for those who played Fallout New Vegas, doesn't this remind you of that snowy area? At least it does for me. Is Matusala still up there? I wonder. You can run now. I think it keeps us warm, I think. Running should keep us warm, not cold. I don't get this game. Hmm. 
Now it's time for the spirit to shine. All the snow makes me wish for a nuclear winter. Nostalgia, definitely. We, oh, we can definitely get a... Can I not? Well, I could hop up here. Then drop down there. Okay. Didn't the bear push this off though? I don't get that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. I thought I was stuck. I thought I'm stuck. Okay, we can continue on. Yeah, it's very nostalgic. I'm so glad I got to like stream that game for you guys. The only reason why there's no Fallout New Vegas streams that followed after it was because it kept crashing but he <laughs> kept crashing on me and i don't want you guys to like have a have a difficult streaming experience where you just see the game crash every single time every single time i enter and walk out of a building okay let's get up here let's just continue let's just run let's just hurry back Back to the... Let's just hurry back inside. You know, the thing is, chat. I already recorded an episode 4. The Long Dark. It was supposed to be episode 7. But I didn't get to. Because I didn't have a great video editor. So yeah, we had to struggle. I had to struggle for a while. I had to wait until like one year until it's finally out and I'm doing it as a stream. There's no grass just when I need it. There's no grass anymore. Look at that. Look. There's no grass anymore. This is not the place where you can touch grass. You're forever stuck in your own fantasy. I thought you just ran out of dynamite or something. No, I didn't run out of dynamite. Is that it? The, the, if I ran out of dynamite, the end streams. The, the end streams. What? What? No. The end streams? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Man. This game. <gasps> that was so close. That was dangerously so close. I forgot there was supposed to be a wood here. Somewhere. Out there. See that the wolf, the wolf is still here. Not a fan. Where can I go? Okay, here it is. Chad, if you like understood what I said earlier, props to you. Oh, wait, I'm falling. I'm falling. I'm falling. No, please let me get. Yeah, there we go. It's the end streams! The end streams are coming! <laughs> I didn't know what I said. Think about is food. Why are you so hungry? It's only been a day. Why are you so hungry? I don't get it. I wanna be this hungry right now. Touch snow. Uh, there's so many there's so much snow everywhere. I don't think it's just touching at this point. Okay, it's too cold. Cold, cold, cold. It's too cold. Let's hurry. No worries, I jumble mumble from time to time. Aw. I heard you, Mario. Oh my god, that wolf was so close to us. That wolf was too close, like way too close. Way too close for my comfort. No, not to worry. We're gonna pokey pokey them if they ever come close. They're, we're gonna pokey pokey these things. Like, if it ever gets too close... Yo. Yo, don't you dare. Okay, I'm gonna run for it. I'm gonna get for it! Let's go! Chat, we gotta run! Okay, okay, wow. I don't have the stamina to... I don't have this stamina to run. It happens sometimes, guys. The things that I want to say ends up being jumbled in my head. Like that earlier. The stream... The end streams. <laughs> 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 
the end streams? <laughs> if I run out of dynamite, the end streams. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. That also made me laugh. Okay, let's go. Let's push onward. At least, let's at least try to get back to the house. I'll make sure. I'll make sure to speed run it. We're gonna speed run this. I'm gonna speed run getting there. Unless we encounter the bear somewhere as a cutscene, who knows? We're just gonna have to go through it. It's a good title for your next game, Miki. The Miki the End Streams. Me the, the the end streams. What does the wow? Look at it, Chad. It's beautiful. Oh wait. Oh, the snowflakes. The snowflakes are gone. That honestly made me sad. Now, the snowflakes are gone. For real. What is the next game? Oh, oh, oh! The next stream, then the stream this Friday is Fallout Three. We do, be, oh, we do be mixed words sometimes. Yeah, it does happen. Don't worry. Thank you guys for relating with me. All right, I'm just gonna. Wah. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't get my way over there. How do I? Yeah, I'm just gonna run for it. The next stream is gonna be Fallout 3. So yeah, the end streams really is the the end streams. What if I name a character end? Like that's that's it. End. End streams. <laughs> end streams adventure in Fallout 3. Nice. Look at it, Chad. Look, look, it's so beautiful. Okay, the wires are just in the way. There we go. Look at it. Look at the view of the sun and the horizon. Look at that. That mountain is so tall. We'll stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror, right? Let's get through it. Oh my god, Mackenzie, why are you so... Mackenzie, please. Mackenzie. It hasn't even been that long. Name them Ender. Ender as an Enderman. Ender. Let's make... What? When we do get to that point, once we do... Once I do stream Fallout 3... By Friday. Yeah, let's name him Ender. Let's name him Ender for real. Oof. Let's make him look like Ender even. Is that going is that going sunrise or sunset? It is sunrise. It's not sunset. Look. It's still morning. The sun is just like the sun is being a little bit weird. But I am freezing to death, though. I'm freezing. Oh. Oh, let me just get through this. Let me just push through. Who's Fallout 3? Been a long, long time since I played that compared to New Vegas. Yeah. It's either you love New Vegas. Yeah, it's either you love New Vegas or you love Fallout 3. And I wanted I wanted to try Fallout 3 since Epic Games gave it away. Epic Games gave it away for free and I th and I thought like why not? I thought like why not? Why why can't we, you know? GG no, 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 Epic Games gave it away. Oh, no. Okay, we gotta hurry. So cold. Just wanna lay down for a bit. No, Mackenzie, don't give up. We're literally at the train. We can do this. We're, we're, we're literally over there. I never saw you fire a single shot with that rusty hunting rifle. 
Yeah, because guys, guys, listen, listen. I never hurt anything unless it's a direct threat to me. Although Fallout New Vegas might beg to differ, but I never do anything that's not currently a threat for me. Please start a fire. As long as that, um, as long as that entity doesn't hurt me, I'm not gonna shoot at it. I'm when I when I play survival games, guys. It worked. What matters is not these these stunts that I pull, but it's how careful I play. I treat survival games as if I'm really there. Okay, what are the things that I'm gonna be doing? when i do try to survive because some people when they play games they take themselves out of it you know they just want to have fun you know survival games for me it's like me setting down settling down and de-stressing and the way i distress is not to i could eat a horse um what is it suspend my belief but it is to like immerse myself completely in this very tough environment. It's like reminding myself that there's nothing else in this game that can stress you compared to college. So why be stressed? That's my mindset. I know it's a very complicated mindset, but it does work. It does work for me. <laughs> I like how you think respect plus 10. Aw, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. So when I play survival games, it's for me to like immerse myself, not to suspend the leaf, but to like take the game as is. Also, the bullets look like a rare item. It is. It is a very rare item. That's why I don't fire a lot of bullets. You will never see me fire any bullets in the stream. Not at all. It won't happen unless you know it's an emergency. I end up getting attacked. Pew 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 pew. Well, New Vegas is a different story though. <laughs> I'm playing a character there. That the character is way different. Oh wait, no, I'm probably Yeah, I probably need to stay a little bit more. Let's warm up a little. Add fuel, please. Okay. Let's warm up faster. How do we warm up faster? Look. Okay, let's Let's cook the peaches. I want to at least get back to the house. Okay, leave it. 30 minutes until ready. Last time. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna eat it. Eat it. Please, please make me warm. As a fellow survival game enthusiast, definitely respectable. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cat. I appreciate it. Fallout Mutas just want to turn you into a pocket-sized Happy Meal. There we can all fire away. Exactly, chat. Exactly, satellites. You know, Fallout New Vegas is a different thing. Everything wants to keyword you. But here, in this game, not everything wants to keyword you. Sometimes, it's best to leave animals alone than to like blindly take them down. Although, like, this is just my playstyle, okay? For those that want to, like, do whatever they want in games, yeah, go do that. Go do that. Have fun. But the way I play, even if it's just, like, you know, a pixel, even if it's just a pixel, even if it's just a 3D model, I take it as is. Whenever I play survival games, I often do eternal monologues as if I'm writing down my adventures in a journal. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can do that with Fallout New Vegas. You know, you can take that internal monologue. I did try a little bit of like role playing in Fallout New Vegas as well. And it's pretty fun. It's a different way to like immerse yourself in the game. Survival games inspire me to write, though it's kind of hard. Yeah! I'm actually surprised it inspires you to write. I love that. I love that for you, Mr. Cat. I hope you... I hope you continue to write, even if it's hard to write. Because I feel like, uh, make yourself used to writing. You know, you can develop the skill of writing by instinct. Writing 
flexibly. Because... What? Oh my god! Oh! <gasps> ah, not feeling so cocky now. Huh? Ah, ah! And all it took was for me to go full on Grizzly Adams. Oh my god! I better get out of here before he comes back. Run! Run! Mackenzie! Mackenzie! I'm taking this out. I'm taking the spear out. I'm taking it out. Oh my god, how is he gonna fit inside that thing? How is he gonna fit inside the... How is he gonna fit inside the little subway? Funnily enough, one of the first stories I wrote were basically Fallout fanfics. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing, chat. I'm I'm really happy you guys are like writing. I encourage writing. You know, any forms of writing, I encourage it. You know, as as an English major, I encourage you to write anything. Personal diaries, journals, fanfics, stories essays anything i saw writing is such a good skill to have it's not a talent writing is a skill before talent anybody can learn how to write it's such a huge misconception to like believe oh writing is like for is, writing is like for talent writing is talent no you can learn how to write it's different from voices. It's different from like singing. It's different from like dancing. And you can learn how to write. You've been writing all your life. That's what I'm gonna say. You're writing for all your life. School. In the house. Grocery list. In the house. Do stuff. It's already writing. And I'm so glad you guys think about writing. I'm always gonna be ad an advocate for it, and I'm never gonna shut up about it. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're back at the house! I wrote like a fairly amount of stories, just short stories though. Since I'm still kind of learning and new to the field. Yeah, that's the thing. The thing about writing is that if you like keep... Like you can cringe about it tomorrow, but... If you like continue to write short stories, it gets longer and longer. You train yourself to like write longer and longer stories and you'll be surprised by the amount of progress you already made. Try writing something already hit by writer's block. So like my tip, when you encounter writer's block, you know, this is coming from an English major that's like has to write as a career. We, we can't afford to be writer's block. The best advice that I ever heard and the best advice that I ever applied in my life is just to continue writing. Like, if you like try to entertain yourself by, you know, watching television and stuff, not really writing, you're never gonna get anywhere else. So, there you go. Continue writing. If you ever hit the block, you can only undo the block, you know, by going through difficult writing moments. Never wait for, like, inspiration to come. Inspiration is never gonna come. Did you find it? The legend might be bunk, but the spear is real. Maybe the legend is also real. Let's hope so, for your sake. Ah. Yeah. The bear is definitely tracking me. You have any luck with the radio? I did. Oh! Did you see the lights in the night nice. sky? Nice! The aurora. Well... When that flared up, the radio came to life. Just lit up. Started spitting out noise, but it was all gibberish. Bits and pieces of things. Music. Talking. I think it needs more range. More powerful signal. We're gonna if have we to go on another fetch quest, isn't the it? signal strength when the aurora is active, we might be able to get a message out. Let me guess. You have an idea. <laughs> You're starting to get it, Mackenzie. Mackenzie! I was digging through some old geological survey maps. Those look like military insignia stamped on there. 
Focus, Mackenzie. Focus, Mackenzie. This survey shows a series of radio transponder towers that cross back and forth across Great Bear. Now, why would those be there? Good question. But for another time, we can use these. How? Each tower has some electronics that it serve like a signal booster to make sure the message gets to the next relay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Well, you get me two, maybe three of those, and I might just be able to rig us up our own signal booster. He has to go friend. out there. And I guess I need to do this while old Bear decides if I'm going to become the next chapter in his legend. Oh, no. Don't be silly. Spence's bear would be long gone by now. That was 150 years ago. Hmm. Maybe he has, I don't know, genetic memory. Ridiculous idea. You may never uh, know. There's definitely a bear out there, and he's definitely interested in you. You'll just have to take your chances. I can't believe Mackenzie is going to sacrifice herself. You think I want to be in here? I need to get a message out, and this might be the only way. What message? What does this have to do with me contacting my friend? There's more at stake than you and your friend! Please, Mackenzie. Get me those boosters. I'll fix the radio, and the first call we'll make will be to Perseverance Mills. I promise. Okay. Oh my god, he's pissed. I'm on it. I'll be back with the transponder parts. Watch your back, Mackenzie. Why can't you say Do thank you first? About... I have a legendary 150-year-old demon bear hungry for my blood. Bullets don't stop him, but I'm armed with basically a medieval weapon, which I'm sure will do the trick. I'm stuck in this winter wasteland where lights in the sky make the power flicker and electronics explode, and the only people I seem to meet are all slightly crazy. And this is all after I crashed my plane deep in the wilderness. See, I told you guys it was an ex-wife. Ex along the way, and I'd really kind of like to find her back. I wonder why they like split off though. I mean, I'm sorry, Mackenzie. I know you want to keep that to yourself, but like, let's get on. There's nothing I could do. All right, we're gonna rock and roll, everybody. Nice. I'm a writer too. Subscribe, uh, subscribe button smash. Oh, thank you, Kyle Sanford. I appreciate it. OMG, we're getting writers in this one stream. I'm so happy. I'm honestly, oh god, I promise writing streams for you guys. I promise writing streams and I never got to do it. Um, let's see if I can like sneak in a schedule where I can stream for writing. But I want to honestly know. What do you guys want for like a writing stream? What do you want? Like like a question and answer stream from an English major, like tips, advice, things I learned from my English major that I could share with you guys. Oh, it's actually the voice of Co uh, Commander Shepard, Mark Muir. Yeah, he is. It's Mark Muir. Maybe I'll try one of my Stalker Z runs day one. I step on a fire animally i burned by pants cried all night back of the village day two step on a fruit punch my boots melted i want to go home you know guys it's okay to like have different styles of writing you don't need to use flowery language you don't need to use it all the time you can write in your own voice the more that you train your own voice the more attractive no not attractive the more personal it is and Myra, oh, talking about survival games, I'm redesigning my mod subs in Baratrauma, removing those additional mods. Yes, please. Thank you so much, Myra. Those additional mods are so hard to like use and adding some experimental systems to the new sub. Thank you so much, Myra. Thank you for like revamping it. I was actually like preparing for your dedicated mob, uh, for your dedicated mod showcase. So I'm so glad. Oh my god, there's more writers in the stream. I appreciate it. Chat. Chat, let me know what kind of like writing topics that you want to see. So I can like prepare. <laughs> I can prepare like a little PowerPoint. <laughs> I've always wanted to talk about writing so much because it's one of my passions. And some of you here, some of you are newbie writers, and I appreciate that. 
we're gonna hone that craft together. Tell me write a poem. I play on a RP soccer server and I got to meet Scary RP Bandit. He told me to write him a poem next time I visit the swamps. Okay, we're gonna be writing a poem. Nice. You're gonna have to decide what kind of poem that you wanna make first. It can be a haiku. It can be the five uh it can be it can be the seven seven five seven it can be a sonnet there's multiple types of poem uh poetry out there you're gonna have to decide first so there it is guys we finally made it we finally made it into the house next time we're gonna be we're, the next stream for this the next episode for this we're gonna be hunting for those signal boosters and let's see i do pro uh post crossing and mail letters often to friends and family i have done short stories too but i never finish one yeah that's fine i always run out of gas and get more ideas that sound interesting okay um let's see the thing about is um the thing about creativity guys you must not wait for inspiration because here let me let me break it down for you it's never gonna happen <laughs> inspiration does not come from passive observation it comes from active observation and active action sometimes you get exp uh, inspired by writing like as you write you get expi uh, inspired one idea leads to another until you can't stop same thing goes for writer's block like if you get blocked by your own brain you just gotta have to tell your brain oh no we're gonna keep on working we're gonna keep on writing that's how we do it yes thank you so much for becoming satellites thank you so much thank you so much guys thank you so much kyle thank you so much even i appreciate it oh thank you thank you thank you so much guys i appreciate it uh welcome to the satellite family we welcome you we welcome you dearly yeah we got a new satellite yay satellites thank you so much we stream every wednesday and friday and the first monday stream will start on december 26th so this friday i'm gonna be streaming fallout 3 which is like the prequel uh for uh which is like the third franchise but it's okay it's not connected in any way slight easter eggs yes so anything else any any more writing else before i can like tanka is my favorite poetry type it's beginner friendly oh yes 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 tanka is really great although i still prefer i still prefer haikus because it's very playful but i also love sonnets sonnets are so good i love reading sonnets freeform is the most modern poetry already because it's you know you could take it in your own pace you can use any length you can do 878 or all, it's all up to you it's free form okay everybody looks like you guys don't have any other questions thank you so much for tuning in today's stream i will announce if there will be a writing stream i just don't know what to show to you guys yet I have like two topics in mind. The first one is showing you the writing, uh, the chapters that I did as a kid. You know, I'm gonna show you guys that, yeah, it is writing isn't exactly a talent, it's a skill. We build it over time. I'm gonna show you guys where I started from so you can see the progress of where I am today. So thank you so much, guys, and have a have a good, good evening, and I'm going to eat my pizza. Bye-bye!